so welcome back everyone now installing any kind of application or uninstalling the application is a very common thing that almost all the windows users do on their pc and laptop but when it comes to uninstall the application we visit the settings or the control panel in order to uninstall the application but it doesn't remove all the remaining file or the entries of that application from your windows pc and laptop and that what I will be explaining that how you can completely remove any application or software from your Windows PC and laptop without using any kind of third party tool. Now you might have a question that should you remove the application or software completely from your Windows? So it totally depends on the situation. For example, if you are going to install the program later on, then you can leave the remaining of that removed application. As in the future, when you reinstall the application, it will not be starting from the scratch because it will have their own file remaining in your computer. But if you want to uninstall any kind of application that you are not planning to install again in the future, then it's better to remove that application completely from your device, from your laptop or your PC. Alternatively, if you are uninstalling any application because it's problematic, then also it's recommended that you should remove the application completely or else if there is any remaining file uh, left over in your device it may cause a problem again and again all right so now let's see how exactly you have to remove the application completely from your device and the very first thing that you will have to do you need to uninstall the application by going through the control panel or through the settings so if you want to uninstall through the control panel then you can click on your windows search and type a simple command that will be app wiz dot cpl and hit the enter key and it will bring up uninstall or change a program now you can look for a program here whichever you want to uninstall you can right click on it and click uninstall and if you want to do this from the settings then you can make a right click on the windows icon click on settings click on app from the left hand side click on installed apps and now here you can look for the application that you want to uninstall so let's say if I want to remove this application by the name FX Sound completely, then I have to first click on the three dot, click uninstall, and click uninstall again. Click on yes, click on yes, and once it gets uninstalled, now you can close it. And next, you have to remove the remaining file from the registry. Now, some apps store the data they need in the registry, including the settings and the preferences or information about the trial period. So when you uninstall the application, they might not remove the information from the registry and this means you'd need to delete it manually. So for that, you can click on your Windows search, type here registry, click on registry editor, click on yes and the registry editor will be up. Now here from the left hand menu option, you will have to click on H key local machine, double click on it and then you have to look for the software, double click on it and it will list you all kind of application folder here okay so you will have to look for the folder of that application that you have uninstalled you have to search here so on my end i don't find that application folder here by the name fx sound so as i said that only a few of the application uh, store their data in the registry but not all of them so if you don't find your application folder here then that's okay now these steps are also applicable for the people who have already uninstalled many applications in the uh, past and now they want to remove that particular application completely. So then also they can look for that particular application name here. Whichever they are not using, they can go ahead and uninstall them. Because many times it happens that you have uninstalled the application in the past but you have not removed them completely. So now you can look over here, the remaining file, the remaining folder of that particular application and if you find it, then you can right click and delete it. So I don't find my application here. But if you get it, then you will have to make a right click on it. And then from here, you have to delete it. Okay, so very simple. Look for your application folder here. Right click on it and delete it. And once you are done, now you can close it. Now next, we also need to remove the leftover file from the drive. So bring up your file explorer. And then go to the C drive where you have installed the application. In case if you have installed the application on any other partition or any other disk, then you have to open that particular drive or disk. And now here it will list all the folder of that particular application that you have installed or you installed in the past. Everything will be listed over here. So you will have to look for that application that you just uninstalled. 
like on my end it was fx sound and i can find the folder here once you get it you need to permanently delete it and that you can do by pressing the shift and delete key so press and hold the shift key and while holding press the delete key from your keyboard click on yes click on continue and now this folder will be completely removed from your drive and so on you can look for any other application folder that you have uninstalled before but their folder still remain in your drive now additionally apart from here you can go back and you can also look in program file x86 and many program also appear over here so you can look over here in case if you don't find in program file you can look in program file x86 and even you have to assure that on the both the location your folder doesn't exist if they exist then you have to delete it okay so now we are only remaining with a final step where you will have to right click on the windows icon click on run and type here simple command that will be percent app data percent again and click on ok and this will list you all the folder of the application that are installed on your device or were installed on your device so you have to look for your own folder of the application here it is once you get it again in order to permanently delete it press and hold the shift key and then press the delete key click on yes and now this folder will be permanently deleted from your drive now apart from the app data again you can make a right click on the windows icon click on run and here you have to add local before the app data so the command will be percent local app data percent and again hit the enter key you can look for the folder here as well just to verify that it doesn't exist over here as well so search for your folder for the application folder here if you find then you can delete it if you don't then it's all okay and bingo so now you have completely removed the application or the software from your windows pc and laptop and it will not be creating any problem in the future and neither it will be taking any space on your drive and hopefully guys you enjoyed the video if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye